beautiful rising. It is a beautiful rising. It's a beautiful rising. Today, I wanted to come on and talk about something that is so sensitive. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. We made it to another day. We made it to another week. I think, as I was saying last week, that I'm going to come on like to do topics every Wednesday. And in between then, I will come on and share at other times. So today's topic is healing the mother womb. And I want to get straight into it. It's a really sensitive topic. And as I was actually preparing to come on today, it, um, it really hit my heart. But the whole goal of being able to share anything having to do with healing is really just so that we can ultimately be who we are meant to be and remove the blocks and the obstacles, okay? I would love to talk about manifestation and, and um, abundance and, and all of that. do not disturb now so i hope no one disturbs me because i'm <laughs> getting into it so basically like healing the they healing the mother womb you know like i said i would love to talk about manifestation all the time that's one of my favorite subjects to talk about you know reinforcing the positivity as well as being able to really come from that deep spiritual place that that we all have within us and being able to manifest and create the lives that we really deserve like that's ultimately what it boils down to in my course that i just recently put out uh you can find it if you are interested the eight steps to manifesting it's in uh, the link in my bio there is a step and the step is removing obstacles and one of the obstacles that get in our way i mean it's a huge one but it's healing the mother wound it's being able to really heal from the mother wound and connect to that deeper parts of ourselves our mothers are the ones who we have this bond with this deep deep bond right and you know, we're supposed to, right? But a lot of times that doesn't happen. A lot of times that doesn't happen. The world is complex. There is a lot of um, patriarchal society things that are going on. You know, of course, then for melanated people, there's a lot of, um, you know, racism as well that goes on. There's, you know, a lot that we, um, as women, I know now as a mother, have to give, you know. Um, so we have to heal that part of ourselves and not just for um, others, but for ourselves, like ultimately for ourselves. Because like I said, I want us all to win. Like I want us to be able to live a powerful life and be able to manifest the lives that we really deserve, okay? So, you know, our strongest connection is with our mother, the person, the portal through which we came through into this world, right? And in the very beginning, um, zero to seven, that's the, the, the years that you really like settle in, that's your foundational years. And a lot of times if your mom was absent or your mom was dealing with her own relationship stuff, if your mom did not have app empathy, if your mother did not create support for you, if your mother just, I'm looking at notes that I had to, I had to write down, but if your mother was extremely extra critical and wasn't available or she suffered abuse herself, if that was your mother, then you may have, not always, but you may have blessings, beautiful rising, um, you may have dealt with um, or de are dealing with having a mother wound 
if those are the type of characteristics that you know your mother did not display if there was not a bond that you all had if she was not empathetic of you if she was extremely critical of you and did not help you that was not there in your life a lot of mothers you know we end up working you know and we're not there but you know it's a process of learning that ultimately whatever we're giving to this child you know and many of us are mothers now so you know it's like a catch-22 in learning and so you are learning at the same time that you still might be healing your own mother wound <laughs> like so it's a process but knowing that the more that you give to yourself um the more that you help to heal your heart because that's one of the ways to heal your heart that the more you do that the more you will be able to give to others as well especially your children especially your children okay so if you have children and also i would like to say that there are many who did not have mothers in their lives like m me myself my mother was dealing with a lot of stuff she was dealing with a lot of abuse she was dealing with a lot of emotional stuff in her life and that actually um affected me like i share that i went through foster care like i was not with my mother um so that was you know she was not available she was not available emotionally um mentally my mother was not available uh, she had gone through different institutions and things like that right but that was you know so i had to work through healing that part of myself okay i had to work through healing that part of myself and so you know like i said the world comes with challenges there are so many different challenges and we want to heal those voids because we want to be able to have a life where we're thriving you know we were meant to thrive but the world has presented so many challenges that sometimes that's really hard to do but guess what it's not impossible it's not impossible i appreciate the hearts thank you <laughs> blessings to you i appreciate the hearts yes it's not so easy to do right so a lot of times i can show up right as low self-esteem the inability to like self-love you know i mean not self-love excuse me the inability to self-soothe so you find other things to help soothe you you find things that might not be in your best interest to help soothe you a lot of times um it could be food okay it could be um alcohol it could be drugs it could be sex it could be um shopping like over shopping knowing you have no damn money to go shopping but you're like i need to heal right there are many coping mechanisms that we use right you say amen exactly there are many coping mechanisms i mean i those are just a few but there are many that aren't necessarily healthy they aren't healthy and exactly like and and many of us you know you could actually have multiples of those you you may drink you may overeat you, you you're trying to fill a void right you're trying to fill a void and those aren't the healthiest ways to fill those voids right it's not at all and so i think mostly like one of the most important things in healing the mother womb is being able to be self-aware and I think that is self-awareness, which you just shared. Like that is self-awareness, okay? Being self-aware that, wait a minute, yeah, this may be me and I may have all of, all of those or I may have more or other things that are going with on with me because it can also show up in relationship issues. It can show up in your relationship issues where you're seeking for your partner to kind of fill that void and your partner may be dealing with their own and i actually um see this as deeper generational stuff many times is deeper generational so your partner may be dealing with his or her own generational traumas because guess what having a mother wound is not only women boys have mother wounds as well 
and so anyone can have a mother wound the loss of their mother which is the greatest connection that you have right that you can have and so that can also show up like i said in relationships seeking for that love that a mo that a mother can give from a partner and it's impossible like it's really impossible especially if your partner is also wanting to be healed and that's kind of can be dysfunctional um and that's why it's so important to heal so that you don't attract dysfunctional relationships okay yes yeah, so much deeper it is so much deeper because you know but that's why i say that it's the self-awareness is extremely key like having the self-awareness is powerful because once you become aware then you know there are things that you can do you know that okay here are the steps that i can take and that's why i always share um if you're following me if you're if you're following me but if you're not you know follow or join the text tribe and then you will you will come to see like you know i always say that there are steps that you can take every single day every single day so as long as you are aware then you're able to take steps every single day to shift and change um your life literally like literally change your life because if you change the way you think you change the way you feel you can ultimately it's the easiest way to change how you feel is to start claiming that you will you know win claiming that you will have all the possibilities claiming that you are not going to live in survival because when you are not missing your mother wound or have your mother wound you are living in survival a lot of times you have may have low uh self-esteem you may have low self-worth and ultimately if you have low self-worth then that can create challenges in your life in other aspects i'm gonna come back and share um different wellness levels there are different there's wellness dimensions okay and so that can create um issues in your finances if your self-worth is not there it can create all types of like havoc right so we want to get through that we want to get through right and i'm and i'm that's why i say get through right it's a journey so we want to get through that you have to get through mm-hmm yeah you so say you kind of understand that i am too strong to heal but i pray because this is for me today i appreciate that that's a blessing i am only a vessel i am only a vessel greetings majestically encouraged beautiful rising um you you are you are capable there there are so many possibilities it's possible to be self-aware that okay yes i am dealing with that there may be something in there that you know and it could be from a little bit to a huge void right like every single one of us has you know something that we're dealing with it could be a month i'm talking about mother wounds right now but there's also father wounds you know i'm not going to get into that today but with the mother wound i mean it could be a small amount so there may be little things that you need to start doing but then there's also you know big voids you know where you are self-aware that okay yeah um i'm i'm i don't have so self-loathing um techniques or tools you know so yeah i'm drinking or i'm doing this or i'm doing that and i'm trying to fill that void and it's like no let's look for the the ways to cope that are healthy that in every single day you can take the step right today you can take the steps towards healing those wounds right one of the one of the main things outside of self-awareness is being very intentional if you look up the definition for intentional it also besides i use it a lot in man when i talk manifestation I use it a lot like having good intentions being intentional with what you do right being extremely intentional what are your intentions for this month what are your intentions for uh this period of time i always talk about intentions and so when i speak of intentions you know if you look up the definition it also means to heal a wound okay 
to heal a wound in 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 um medicine it that's what it means to heal a wound and so when you are intentional about making changes in your life then guess what that does it helps to heal the wounds that you may have within you whatever voids you have so when you are very intentional that helps to shift you from where you are to where you want to be okay because once you heal then you don't constantly have to put that salve on whatever it is that you may be piling on and you can you know just heal and be extremely intentional all right <laughs> i appreciate that yeah no it's um it's a lot to it but i always say it may be challenging i don't like to use the word hard but it may be challenging you know it's not easy but it's simple and it's it's possible it's possible because we were created powerfully wonderfully gratefully we're amazing being spiritually but we come to this world and we have all this stuff that's stacked up against us and guess what what do we have to do we have to do the inner work we have to do the inner work and this is part of the inner work there's also other layers to the inner work okay so i'm talking about healing the mother wound today but i will share other things as well because everything is not for everyone okay but if you feel that this resonates then it's a blessing to me because i'm only a vessel okay so you know healing the the um mother wound is one but there's inner child work there's there's mirror work there's so much you know but it's all using those tools and techniques and things that we have to be able to make ourselves and connect deeper to the spiritual aspects of ourselves so things don't have to be so hard or, or things don't have to be so challenging because they really don't they really don't <laughs> they really don't it, it's just you know sometimes like i said in my manifestation course that i just did um last month one of the steps to getting to the manifestations that you really desire is removing obstacles and this is an obstacle having a mother wound right and so we want to be very intentional we want to be self-aware okay and a few of the other things that you can do you know is just um expressing your pain and i mean many times you you can and i know i have you know my mother is is um has transitioned but i speak to her and i express my pain okay how i feel about her not being in my life um you can write a letter okay you can write a letter to your mother if you feel like you cannot speak to her um you can you know just express that pain you can journal if you don't choose to write a letter and pass it on or you can write the letter to your mother expressing it and guess what you can go and you can burn it safely safely okay safely not just go burning things in your house but and you can burn it i've done that too you know i've done the writing the letter i've done the expressing myself i'm i journal all the time like so that's you know something that i can recommend for you to do in order to heal um that aspects heal the mother wound okay um the other like extremely important key is forgiveness okay a lot of times we do not have we have not for, i did a, a video on this last week so if you want to go to um that video you know forgiveness is not for other people okay forgiveness is not necessarily for other people those other people are a reflection but forgiveness is for you it's for you okay so forgiving okay accepting and acknowledging what has what the feelings are and through that's through self-awareness grieving the fact that you did not receive this from your mother and you and honestly a lot of times you may not you may not it's a lot of work it takes a lot of work and you may not but guess what forgiveness because a lot of parents didn't know what they were doing okay i am a parent now i don't know how many of you are parents okay how many of you are parents okay listen 
I know I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Like, I'm like, every day is a whole new day. I have no idea. Like, so, you know, having your own wants and your desires in your life and then having children, a lot of times that's not easy. That's not easy to balance and bring that into harmony. So you have to learn how to bring that into harmony. And a lot of parents, especially, especially, you said, woo, listen, exactly. <laughs> listen i mean every day it's like okay i may i wake up or i get through the day sometimes i'm like woo, i made it through the day i made it through the day beautiful rising welcome thank you for joining at the end of the day i'm like woo, i made it i made it through the day you know i i somehow i was able to take care of those children through the day and i know that um, I would not have been given and blessed with those children had I not been able to um, do what I'm doing and I am equipped and so are you all. You all are extremely equipped um, and so that's why you are equipped but a lot of times we don't know the tools we don't know what to do like we just have we're like trying to figure it out right in the wilderness but at the same time there are tools and things like that and that's why I, like i said i'm the vessel i'm a vessel i'm here to share okay and so another thing is or the last thing i will say and i'll combine these two is reparenting yourself right reparenting yourself through the journey through the entire journey okay because this like i said is a journey it's not a destination we are not reaching a destination we're constantly going through and supposed to be becoming the true essence and spiritual being that we truly are in a physical world okay we're in a physical world so but we ultimately are spiritual beings here and we have purpose we there are things that you are supposed to be doing there are things right now that you're supposed to be doing and you may have blocks to those manifestations because you want need actually more healing techniques and tools okay and so you know reparenting and reparenting looks like saying to yourself what you what you would love or what you would have loved for your parents to say to you repair reparenting looks like reaffirming yourself okay once you become an adult that was that was one of the main things that i was going to share once you become older it's it's not their responsibility anymore a lot of times they did the best that they could you know and that was one of my greatest lessons is learning how to forgive my parents they did the greatest that they knew that they could they didn't do all that great of a job but they did <laughs> but i okay i'm amazing I, I i have affirmed you know myself and even my father before he transitioned said you're amazing no matter how he was not there in my life he definitely said that you know and that was great but for me to feel even more amazing i had to continue to affirm myself that's why i always share affirmations being able to speak to yourself in a way that is empowering that is uplifting that is really going to take you to the next level and that's why i'm sharing this and i will continue to share different healing modalities and ways that we really can reach that high level and be able to manifest and create our lives with ease, right? And so we have to get rid of the blockages, all right? And so self-care, okay? Taking care of yourself through how you're speaking to yourself every day, what you're doing, what you're giving yourself, how you are um, nourishing yourself, you know, um, the foods that you are giving yourself, the um, what you're watching, how you are nourishing yourself that is yes daily affirmations that's right mm -hmm. you have to affirm yourself every day so all of that is nourishing right we're like um we're a plant we're like a plant you know we are physically like that i mean we if we eat we should be eating a lot of plants <laughs> and that helps to heal us too because food is healing okay sound is healing all right um words are healing 
okay? Having good people around you are healing. And that's why the more that you heal, the more that you attract amazing people around you because you no longer attract those toxic people around you. You no longer attract, you know, in, in certain instances, but then you also, even if you do attract them, you know how to maneuver. You know how to navigate. You know how to navigate, all right? So taking care of your needs through self-care and whatever that looks like for you because there's so many different ways to do it you know um like i said affirming yourself how you eat taking care of yourself going out into nature um just taking your shoes off in the grass and putting your feet in the grass is healing so healing okay so some of those are self-care things but overall you know, it's about becoming self-aware and just starting to begin the process by doing the, those daily affirmations, okay? And by um, just taking those simple steps of eating the right foods and things like that, okay? By journaling and writing your mother a letter, you know? And being forgiving and understanding, okay? Um, because like I said, they, they didn't know, they didn't know. Okay. Um, so the self-care practices are what you can do for yourself and just have gratitude that you are here and you are here right now and that any, anything and everything is possible. Anything and everything is possible, but you want to remove those blockages because I love, like I said, I love sharing about manifestation and being able to create, I consider myself a, a master manifester but that all comes through healing okay and getting beyond ourselves it's so easy to say well just get over yourself but how right how and one of the ways is healing your mother wound okay so i am not going to be on or be i, I always like to say i'm not gonna be before you too long um thank you all so much um for joining if you have any um questions about this you know you can send me a dm message or you can join the wellness tribe um text um group and you know i'll be creating other types of um community space to uh for this because i feel that it is so necessary you know and like i always share i want us all to win i want us all to win Char Star 17, Majestically Encouraged, Mima, Mimia, oh, Mimi Ask Me Why, okay, Mimi Ask Me Why, yes, all of us, all of you, I want you all to win, you know, we have the capability and possibility to be able to do anything and do great things, all right, so I send you all love, and like I said, if you have any questions about this, please DM me, um, yeah, and that's it, and I'll see you next time, peace and love.